this week in 1582, nothing happened. No wars were declared, no great discoveries were made, no one was born, and no one died on October 5th and October 14th. That's because those dates never existed. You see, in 1582, Pope Gregory XIII decided to adopt a new style of calendar based on the movements of the Earth in relation to the Sun. The old method of dating, known as the Julian calendar, was also based on the sun, but it miscalculated the solar year as being nearly 11 minutes and 14 seconds too long. So every four years, there had to be a leap day in an attempt to keep the seasons and calendar in sync. Pope Gregory's method corrected the mistake and advanced the calendar 10 days beginning after October 4th, 1582. So what should have been October 5th, suddenly October 15th. Of course, time continued to pass, just as it always has, but the dates themselves disappeared. The Gregorian calendar became, and remains, standard dating system for most of the world. Absolutely no physical evidence to back up your story. Yes. You admit that you very well may have hallucinated this whole thing. Yes. You admit that if you were in our position, you would respond with exactly the same degree of incredulity and skepticism. Yes. Then why don't you simply withdraw your testimony and concede that this journey to the center of the galaxy, in fact, never took place? Because I can't. had an experience. I can't prove it. I can't even explain it. But everything that I know as a human being, everything that I am tells me that it was real. I was given something wonderful, something that changed me forever. A vision of the universe that tells us undeniably how tiny and insignificant and how 
rare and precious we all are. A vision that tells us that we belong to something that is greater than ourselves, that we are not, that none of us are alone. I wish I could share that. I wish that everyone, if even for one moment, could feel humility and not hope. But that continues to be my wish. <laughs>